Good morning from Renton in Seattle. We are in Boeing country pretty much and uh, I want to do something a little bit different today. Um, we're going to go back to 2018 and we are about to um, deliver this Southwest 737-800. But before delivery we're going to uh, take it to the uh, acceptance center over in BFI. Why BFI? Because yesterday um, Sevieski Design completed the trifecta of Boeing Country here in Seattle. They already have Renton, which you're seeing right now. They have Paint Field, uh, which is about 30 miles to the north. And last night BFI came out. And uh, BFI is where currently the 737 MAX is um, at the end of flight testing and where it's uh, presented, handed over to customers. So we're going to pretend, again, like I said, this, this one's coming out of Renton. Uh, it's going to fly over to BFI. Uh, it's already gone through all this flight testing. So we're just going to go ahead and take a complete to BFI. That way I will give you a chance to see the details that Stanislaw and his team put together at BFI. Uh, which I haven't seen uh, yet um, in, in, full, in full detail. The last time I saw a full version of BFI was in, on the P3D version of Sovietsky Design. So um, let's go over to BFI. It's going to be a very quick flight. Uh, I'm already configured for takeoff, so I'm just going to go over to the end of the runway here, or 3 4 here, a very short runway, and also take advantage of the aircraft's performance uh, on short runways. Okay, so here we go. If you haven't been to Seattle, I definitely recommend visiting the Boeing facilities. Um, there is a tour of, of the large plant over in Payne Field. Uh, BFI has the Museum of a Aviation. I think here in Renton, it's the only one I haven't done a tour of, but Renton should have a tour of the 737 plant as well. Uh, I stood actually on the hill you're looking at right now and, and done some plane spotting with my camera. And I'm also hoping uh, today when I see BFI for the first time, uh, the flight sim bug, which is a very random bug, uh, sometimes when you're approaching an airport, regardless of the scenery density, uh, the sim starts to stutter, but hopefully this won't happen because uh, I have a, if you've seen all my videos, I, I have a very top end computer for flight sim 2020. So it's definitely not an issue with the computer. I think this, the random stuttering might have begun with service update 13 and it's something uh, Microsoft Asobo is still trying to address. So anyways, we'll get underway here. Let me, let me make sure we have everything set up. Um, I went ahead and configured most of the takeoff when I, was when I pulled out of the parking spot. Uh, let's see. So we got our trim set, our flaps are set. Okay, so we're going to get going then. I also plotted the route here on uh, the tablet. I got it from Simbrief. It's going to uh, obviously a very short route. We're going to uh, today in Seattle there's barely any wind. So we're going to take off to the north and land to the southeast as you can see here. All right, let's let's get going. I want to look really looking forward to checking out BFI. Yep, and the stuttering is back, unfortunately. Gear up. 
I really wish the stuttering goes away. Uh, I, I hope they can fix this because, uh, again, have a very high-end system, have no reason to uh, experience stuttering. It's just a random bug in the sim right now, and I really hope they fix it. It just takes the fun out of uh, controlling the airplane. So I'm going to go ahead and just set the autopilot on right now. Uh, that's definitely not good. I, I hope they fix it. Okay, flaps up. It's going to be a very fast flight, like I said. I want to see if I can just widen this approach a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to add one waypoint. Yeah, it's still stuttering. Renton Tower, Southwest 7, Don't know change. how to make the stuttering go away, unfortunately. But please do not blame uh, Sovietsky Design. This is a documented bug. Again, since about Service Update 13. Might have been before, but I think that that's, that that's what I had read on one of the forums. I'm also going to go ahead and enter the data for runway 1 for right. So let's do a quick calculation here. I think I'm gonna go. Uh, I wanna. I wanna give you a chance to see the entire airfield. So I'm gonna use no reversers, auto brake two, and let's see what we get. Yeah, it's gonna be a very easy land. I'm gonna use auto brake one, as a matter of fact. Just wanna have a nice long uh, landing roll. Get our frequency in. So the runway altitude is seventy two feet, and the runway length is ten thousand six. So I got that in case we use the HPS. All right, let's line up with the localizer here. And I'm gonna get our speed down to about 170, start Preparing flaps one. And flaps five. See so the glyso is starting to come alive. So let's get it to one six five now here. Seattle is living up to its rainy reputation today, but from what I saw, well, from what we saw leaving uh, Renton, we should be below this cloud deck very soon and get a pretty good view of the airport. Yeah, already trying to see some of the land, so we'll be fine.
Okay, our reef is one to seven. So obviously my plane is empty right now because we are simulating a, a quick ferry. So that's why the speed's so low. And I have the airfield inside, so I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect. I don't wanna use the HPS. Uh, let's get our gear down. Get my speed to one to seven. And I'll arm my brake. Okay, flaps 30 and landing check is complete. Okay, I don't want to speak too soon, but I think the stuttering is gone. So let's enjoy this new airport. break up man you're breaking That's the new single aviation you're seeing over there. Look at those prototypes, 747, 727, 787. That, that's awesome. I really recommend this place. There is a Connie on this play. If you've never been here, you will not be disappointed if you visit. I highly, highly recommend it. Here are some KC-767s, uh, probably there they roll out of uh, paint fields, so they're probably here undergoing final preparations before they go to the U.S. Air Force. Um, yeah, really cool. L uh, look at the details of, of this place. Wow. Nice job, Stanislaw, and the rest of uh, Sovietsky design. This is a beautiful airfield. Very, very, very well done. So I'm gonna taxi over to the delivery uh, to the acceptance center, and just do a s nice slow taxi so we can get an appreciation for how well they did uh, BFI. So again, if you want to get the trifecta, Payne Field, Renton, and now Boeing Field, you will not be disappointed. Uh, especially my fellow PMDG drivers, uh, we're gonna have a very good year coming up. We're gonna have 
this NG, we're going to have the 777. Uh, we're probably going to have the Max, uh, just based on some um, very subtle hints from Robert and company about the Max status. And the 747 is already under development as well, so we'll see if it also gets out in 2024. Let me slow down a little bit. So there's the Museum of Aviation. It's one of the VIP 707s uh, that, that, that the presidents used before 1990. United's Friendship 2027, 20, original 787-8, 7 original 747-100, and one of the 737s, er, early 737s. The other side of uh, BFI has general aviation. It has some cargo uh, there on the northeast with the UPS 767s that you see there and more general aviation on this side. So now we're going to go to the next Boeing section. So now I'll accelerate a little bit. There are some maxes uh, close to delivery as well. More maxes here. So let's just go in here. Let me cut in. So I'm definitely out of place having an NG that was delivered in 2018, but this was a very common pattern. Uh, they would roll out a BFI, uh, I mean of Renton, uh, unpainted, uh, probably get painter painted in places like Victorville. Um, do a lot of flight testing in the Washington State area over to Moses Lake and so forth and park here in BFI during the testing, ad advanced testing phases, flight testing phases. And then uh, they get taxied over to the delivery center, to the acceptance center, uh, to be handed over to the customers. So this is, again, this is from 2018, my, my plane, but the other planes around me are definitely being delivered as we speak. So this is beautiful, this, this, this is amazing. This, this is an, a very good looking flight line. It's also very common to see some of the white bodies here, even though delivery acceptance centers have been shifted over to the to paint field. So, uh, especially now as the 777-8 rolls out, and they're still rolling out 777 uh, freighters plus the 767 freighters, those will take place 35 miles to the north over over in paint field. But again, it will be not be uncommon to see some 787s here, some new 787s here. Even though the 787s are being rolled out in South Carolina, if you're interested in the, in the 787 plan, plant uh, in South Carolina, uh, Charleston was released a couple of weeks ago. Uh, Charleston International Airport, including the Boeing plant. That was done by Dominic Design. It, they, they did a pretty nice job. So let's taxi over to the uh, acceptance center. Again, this looks amazing. There are some office employees over there. All right, I'll just stop here and... Yeah, this is pretty nice. So let's go ahead and set the parking brake. And, sh and cut off the engines. And go to APU. And let's get docked here. Boeing Ground Southwest 738, could you please connect the jetway to and the And let aircraft? me do a partial shutdown. Uh, let me just turn off the um, heaters, the probe. Going ground, Beechcraft, November 5th. Hydraulics. Turn off anti-collision, and we'll just leave the APU fuel pump running. And I think... Oh, and taxi. I didn't have a marshaler, so I didn't turn the taxi light off, but... There we go. Wow! 
again, this is a very nice product. Very well done to Stanislaw and his team. So, let me just do one more outside view here. I'm looking at the office details here. Here, I'm gonna. I might actually. Should I use my avatar mode and just walk around the office or something? Yeah, maybe not, but I just wanted to get some of the details in. Yeah, there's some moving, moving people, uh, static people. Let's see what else we have here. So, yeah, this is uh, again. I've been here before, so everything is very authentically reproduced. And again, I love the busy flight lines. Uh, those of you who are Boeing fans or just aviation geeks like myself. You know, uh, there's still a pretty big backlog of Max or crap, so as we see so many Maxes here, here and in the background. So it looks very, very true to the real world. Really awesome. All right, so I'll shut down here. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, uh, again, uh, I, I don't work for Sevieski Design. I'm not gonna make any money by telling you to buy this. If if, if you really wanna, again, simulate some. Um, Deliveries, uh, flight testing. Oh, look at the models in there. Hold on, let me let me try to zoom in. They even got the models inside the office. That is really cool. Yeah, <laughs> you won't be disappointed. Again, you want you want to simulate some some Boeing operations uh, for from from um, rollout to delivery, to flight testing, anything you want to do. Um, Sobieski Design has the Seattle trifecta. It is Boeing country after all, so. Thanks again, guys. We'll see you soon.